An army marches on its stomach, or so the old saying goes. My clansmen have been farming and tending sheep for hundreds of years, but gathering enough food to feed an army is a different matter entirely. Without a strong economy, the meager forces that we've cobbled together will collapse again. Right-click a forage bush near the blue flag. In the status area at the bottom of the screen, you can see how much food the villager is carrying. The villager continues to gather from the forage bush until he's carrying ten food. The villager will continue working for you, carrying the food to the town center. The amount of food you have is shown in the upper left corner of the screen. In addition to your food stockpile, you can see your current wood, gold, and stone stockpiles. The more villagers you have, the faster you can gather resources. Assign your new villagers to gather food. Boonid. Kid. Boonid. Kid. Siedika. Kia. Boonid. Bid fear. Good! You found some gold! Erlev, Bonit, Nienige, Kia, Kart, Bid Fear, job. You don't have enough wood. Great! You don't have 50 food. To win, also gather 50 wood and 50 gold. To gather wood, click a villager, then right-click a tree. If you haven't found any gold yet, search in the unexplored territory. You're well on your way to making a city. Excellent! Repute has shown military tactics in Wales, England, and France to be very effective, if not cruel and ruthless. He's indeed an enemy to be feared. The English sacked the town of Berwick upon Tweed. Would that I could call it a battle, but it was truly more of a massacre. Unless we organize our army, there will be more massacres to follow. I pray we can be ready for Longshanks coming. <laughs>